LMR. What's up, what's up? We are back with another video. As you can see, working on Sylvia again because the work never ends. Even though I told myself I'm not putting anything more in the car, I'm done. I ran into a bit of a situation. Everything's alright, there's nothing wrong with the car. But uh, I may have bought something. So I'm going to show you guys what I bought. Um, it's just hidden there a little bit off camera. And, uh, if you're wondering, your eyes can probably see what it looks like. But yes, we are putting a cup front bumper on Sylvia. Uh, it's been something I want to do for a very long time. And I finally got around to getting one. Like I said, I ran into an opportunity. I didn't think it was actually ever going to happen, I was in no rush to do it, but it came up so I decided I have to. So, I haven't even opened it yet, this is the first look I'm getting. I'm hopefully going to experience this guys with you guys for the first time. So, uh, let's get a carpet knife, cut away from each other, uh, yourselves, not towards yourself because we know how that went last time, and see how the bumper looks. Sure, why not? Certain black fitment, yeah. I'd say compared to what I was expecting, say a 10 out of 9 because it's not perfect, maybe 8.5 out of 9 out of 10, you know, because uh, it's not dead perfect. But I've seen a previous mold that other people have had, and it wasn't that great. This one's fitting really nicely. I'm gonna need to chop out that little ring in the middle there that seems to be causing a little bit of issues with the grill fitting and I want the grill to fit as nice as possible. I'm probably gonna land up gluing the grill in in place and then I'm not gonna use the holes at the bottom of the grills that you would normally screw into the crash part to hold it. I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, only thing I still need to figure out as well is going to be the arches because the arches they don't not fit but uh, this bumper does sit a little bit lower than the stock so that's kind of also why I went for it because we're basically almost on the floor I mean that's a decent two finger gap give or take all round three if I had to squeeze so let's say two and a half finger gap and yeah so that's basically how she's sitting I'm really happy with it actually I, uh, I was kind of worried about fitment but uh, it came out really good this means we could probably send the bumper in for paint tomorrow. I just need to talk to my paint guy. And then we'll go from there. I mean, fuck it, she looks great. Um, I'm actually so stoked about how it came out. I definitely need to get some pictures of it, especially like this, because this is just... Oh, I don't know, I'm loving it.
Hey Lamar, what's up? We are working on the bumper again. Parts are back from paint. Bumper and everything's back from paint as well. Um, I didn't show the pre-test fit just because I mean I did it already in the previous video. It's just the same thing with paint. But uh, as you can see, the bumpers over here. Uh, colors probably not showing up on camera very well because of the angle. But uh, at the moment, I currently have it facing the other way around. That is because we are going to be sorting out the grills for the bottom. I already have the honeycomb grill for the top, and then we organized, uh, say we organized, <laughs> I ordered some of this mesh from uh, Max Motorsports up in Durban. They have this uh, plastic mesh that appears to be a different type of plastic. Alright, scratch that. So, um, <coughs> mesh. You can see it's covered, there's some spots that just needs to be pushed out but uh, basically we're going to be mounting that to this so what I've decided I've got some uh, metal wire here that's kind of malleable so I don't know if malleable is the right word I can bend it right so the plan is to basically cut pieces like a set length right over there then plastic weld, not plastic weld uh, epoxy this shit is pretty heavy duty. I've also got some uh, partly seal over here. Um, we'll crack some of that open, mix a little bit, then basically steel weld that to the bumper. So then when the grill goes up against it, these pins are sticking out, the grill will go up against it, and then we just bend those pins down or keep the grill in, won't be able to be removed from the outside, plus not having any pieces that people can see. So it's basically just to keep it as neat as possible whilst also being effective. Uh, I've seen some people do other ways, there's silicone and stuff like that as well. This is just the way I'm going to give it a bash with. Uh, if it doesn't work I can always try other ones but uh, I have a good feeling about this. I keep referencing it to like a photo frame because that's basically how it will be just inverted instead of holding the backing inward to outwards. But either way, you guys will see how it works. We'll figure it out. And then maybe I doubt it today because uh, I won't be able to put the grills in today because the steel weld has to still weld itself to the fiberglass. Um, I want to paint this black. All this inner piece. Mace, look, probably not even this area. Literally just that bottom area over there. Won't worry about that. Or there or anything else because you can see that through the bumper. When the grills there it's probably going to you know, delete a lot of that vision. But uh, just to be as safe as possible. Yeah. I'm going to stop talking. And... Uh, Get cracking on it. So we'll see how it goes, I'll let you know. Cool. <laughs> See, I've mounted the pins. Um, let's get in there. So they need a bit of a lot, you know, adjustment here and there because they sag. So the stuff takes a little bit to set. So you got to be really quick for when it is setting. Um, but uh, what I didn't really compensate for was because of that movement. Um, so when I get to like points on the side here, if I just put it here, it's just gonna droop the whole time. So. I need to figure out what's going to be the best way to keep them there without them drooping. So I'm working on that in my mind at the moment. Same thing with the bottom, it's just going to flop. But uh, I think rotating the bumper in certain angles will help. So I'm going to try and get my pins for the top laid out over there. While those ones are sitting, because after they sit for a little bit, 
then uh, it seems to be alright. So I'm gonna work on that and then eventually figure out the rest. I don't really know how much more I want to run. I'm definitely going with 2 2 2 2 on that side there. Uh, the top probably just gonna be 1 2 3 4 on top and then maybe 3 on the bottom. It doesn't need that much, look it's not going to be that hectic and with these pins I'm pretty certain it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, but I hey, we'll figure it out. Bit of an update. Done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clips. Not a lot at all. But then again, I was helping a friend with their car, but it seems to be working really well. And uh, I know it seems so basic, but I feel like like the strength of this shit is insane. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work like a bomb. It's just a matter of getting it done. But uh, it takes 24 hours to cure correctly, and I'm not skipping any steps with this part of the car, so. However long it needs to take is how long it takes and if these are going to need 24 hours to cure so will the other side. So I'm going to do everything tonight until who knows what time. It's already fairly late but uh, I'm not stopping until everything's on the car so that they can all cure together and then I won't have any issues bending them later on. That's at least how it seems in my head. Whether or not it's going to be that simple we'll have to see. Uh, from what I can tell, I think I'm only going to do three at the bottom there. I might still do two there because it's quite wide over there. And then for the sides, I'm probably going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. So, six, eight, ten. So, we've got 13 more to make. Uh, and then that's basically it. I just hope I don't run out of uh, the party. We are going through it quite quickly. But uh, I don't think it'll be too issue too much of an issue. Uh, we'll get started with that now. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. What's up? Uh, we're busy with the bumper again. Um, <laughs> my dad couldn't wait to get the grills on, so uh, while I was at work, my dad decided to take the liberty and get the grills fitted. Some of the pins broke off. We thought it might, so uh, unfortunately, I did do that. But it's uh, pretty solid so far. As you can see on this side here, it's not going anywhere. This one's a bit loose because that pin came off and the pins at the bottom came off. Uh, as you can see, the pins basically didn't bond very well. Doesn't want to focus on my hand. Either way, what I am busy with now is uh, the grill. Um, I had to shave down these pins to get it to fit because it's obviously fiberglass, the mold, not perfect. So I had to shave down these pieces here, and now I'm shaving these pieces down with a file. 
to uh, allow the clips to clip on because it's a bit tight and uh, this side's clipping off and I got this side to clip on but now this one isn't clipping but this one is short enough so uh, I'm going to try and think of a way to bond this. I might attach the grill for good um, but uh, I don't know yet. I'll uh, first get it see to see if I can get it fit correctly and then maybe we pull out some epoxy and get it solid or not. There you go. So, we got Sylvia's new face on. Not properly yet, you can see we've taped it up over there. You can't see that, her old face is laying over there. I'm pretty happy with it all around, it fits really nicely. I just need to migrate the bumper slides. Uh, I'll show you guys. The only thing I still need to do is basically migrate these bumper slides over here to this. That's why I've got the tape. But uh, that should be pretty easy, and uh, and then I just need to fit the uh, the fender liners to the bumper. But that's basically it. And then obviously still sort out the. I keep saying that's basically it. It's clearly not basically it, but uh, you get the idea. Everything's come out really nicely, and the uh, the color is insane. I'm actually amazed. If anything, there's more flake in the uh, bumper than there is. On the original parts uh, you can also see we got the mirrors done as well but i haven't shown you guys the mirrors as of yet also color coded and then the side skirts it's a bit difficult to see from that side let me uh, adjust this here you guys can see that see there's the side skirts all matched as well so all in all it came out really nicely um, just a little bit more finishing touches that need to take place and then yeah, we should have it ready to go and then um, the only other thing I want to sort out is the lights. Uh, I want to try a different technique to cleaning it because the polishing way that I'm doing it works but uh, it's not foolproof. So I want to try a level with clear coat and everything just to, you know, redo it completely. But uh, we should have that done sometime soon and we'll take it from there. Alright. So this is a good couple of days after the bumper's finally been fitted, plus the bumper slides. Um, we had some issues with the bumper slides, need to re-glue and so forth, but uh, we got that all sorted and finished. So the car's basically done. Um, like I said, I wanted to sort the headlights out, that's still in the agenda, but uh, as far as bumper is concerned, you guys can see uh, all of the glory. A lot of people were wondering the footment. There you can see the footment on that side. As well as footman on this side. It's definitely not perfect on this side, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, from a distance, I mean, if you look at the car, I still think it looks great. And, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it, so. If someone thinks the footman's not great, well then, don't buy it, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just really happy with the outcome. I think it looks super sick, and, uh, yeah. Especially with the bumper flat, that was like a big goal for me. And uh, I always knew when I did get it set up, I want the bumper flush. I think this shot here with the skirts and the mirrors, everything together just looks insane. Um, I'm really happy with the outcome. So yeah, guys, I um, hope you learned something. Maybe I showed you something that you didn't know was possible. I'm sure there's people wondering if this bumper fits on these cars. It does. 
just minor adjustments and you obviously need to migrate some bumper slides but that's basically it thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe we really appreciate it if you do we're on our way to 1500 subscribers we're really close to it uh, so if you guys wouldn't mind you know <laughs> it'd be pretty dope thanks cheers